A lot of people have questions about Romans 13 verses 1 to 7, which tells Christians to submit to uh, the governing authorities and that God has put the governing authorities in place to basically to keep order in the world and uh, to keep evil at bay and to, uh, to reward those who do what is good. Now we all know, and Paul certainly knew, that not all governments are good. Uh, in fact, there are many governments in the world today that are, that are quite bad. And so the question down through Christian history for Christians who consider Scripture to be authoritative, and I certainly do, is how can I obey this particular passage, Romans 13, 1 to 7, and yet also obey the many, many parts of Scripture that talk about not oppressing the poor, that talk about reaching out to the disenfranchised and the marginalized, to welcoming and showing hospitality to the stranger, uh, how can I obey uh, all the many passages of Scripture that speak of extending love and kindness uh, to others, especially those who are not like me, when my government may be putting laws into place that are saying I should not show that love and kindness to people? Well, uh, this is not the first time in history, the, in our own period of history, that people have asked that question. In fact, the earliest commentary on Romans that is extant was by an early church father named Origen, who lived in the mid-first century. And Origen uh, lost his life because he was a Christian. He was killed specifically by the government because he was a Christian. He was terribly persecuted. When he commented on this passage, he reminded us that there are other parts of Scripture that, that lay things out this way. When Peter and John were arrested by the governing authorities, according to the early chapters of the book of Acts, and were told to preach no longer in Jesus' name, their response was that they could not do that because it was their responsibility to obey God rather than human beings. So traditionally, the way people have interpreted Romans 13, 1 to 7, is that we should obey uh, the government insofar as we can and not disobey God. That we should not be uh, troublemakers for the government in, an, in any kind of a necessary sense. But when God calls upon us, as he does so often in the scriptures, to love our neighbors as ourselves, and the government, for example, say, might say that we should not do that, it is our duty, according to the apostle Peter, to obey God rather than human beings. We know the apostle Paul agreed. He often found himself in prison because he, he too preached the gospel and created a stir and got on the wrong side of the governing authorities. So I think Paul would, uh, would shake hands with Peter over this and fully agree with him. And this is often the pattern that we should go to when we find difficult passages of Scripture. Scripture interprets Scripture, and we need to read the Bible from beginning to end, Genesis to Revelation, to see the big themes and what God is focused on, and then to interpret the, the more difficult passages in light of those big themes.